Hi there guys, welcome back to the Majestic Pinball YouTube channel. Today I have such a wonderful special machine to share with you and this beautiful machine is Mystery Castle which was released by Alvin G and Company in 1993. This is such a special machine because it's incredibly rare. It's thought that Alvin Gottlieb only made 227 of these. So that was back in 1993, so who knows how many actually sold, how many lasted, and how many exist today. Um, it's probably an incredibly low amount. So in that respect, it's such a special machine. There's not a whole lot of footage of it online. There's not much information about. So I'm gonna do a few videos on this game. I'm not gonna release them all in one go, but I'm gonna get the machine set up in a room where I can film all the cabinet, do like a really nice in-depth video on just the ins and outs and the intricacies of this amazing machine. Um, it truly is my absolute holy grail. I just think it's an absolute work of art. There's a few bugs in the code, they never quite finished it. Um, there's a few little issues that occur here and there, but that doesn't that doesn't detract from it. It's, it's just such a wonderful machine. The sounds of the music, I think they're just some of the best from the, from the early 90s. The artwork's stunning. It's just such a great, the whole game is such a great mood and I just, I just really adore it. It's such a special machine. So what I'm gonna do is just teach you how to play the wonderful, spooky, ooky and kooky Mystery Castle. So the whole idea of Mystery Castle is that you are trapped in a creepy castle doing a scavenger hunt to collect all of the enchanted items. So you have all the items on this big map thing in the middle here. So they're just basically modes. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Um, some will only give you points. Some will like special features like an extra ball or special. Um, the crown, for example, is the wizard mode. So once you collect all of the items, the crown will light and that basically just puts you in some crazy mode where everything's lit and it's all going on. But the main items to look out for, you've got the crystal ball. Once you collect that, that lights your extra ball, which is on the ramp, so you just shoot the ramp and that gives you the extra ball. And the skull, which is doom mode, um, which I'll get into a little bit later on. Um, all the other items will just basically spot random features, which as they pop up during the gameplay, I'll explain to you. So when you start the game, you have the skill shot, so the ball will plunge up. Most of the time it will fire all the way around the ramp and come down here, and the skill shot is basically to use your flipper and bang it back around the ramp. Um, and you can keep repeating that as many times as possible and that just awards the skill shot over and over again and the value increases. So that's the skill shot. Uh, you have some targets down here that spell out castle. Shooting down all of those will increase your bonus multiplier for the endable bonus. To collect items, some of the random shots were light. So you have a few orbit shots, a few ramp shots. Um, so those are the dungeon, the bridge, the tower, the ballroom and the catwalk. So these lights up on the top will light up whenever an item is ready to collect. Simply shooting that shot will give you whatever items flashing on the scavenger hunt list. And then it will start either the mode or just give you some points or give you the feature of whatever whatever's lit. To change the items, um, you just simply hit this target here and then that will randomly move the items around. Shots into the two um, jet bumpers in the back will also change whatever items lit on the map. So if you've got a bit of a rubbish one and you want to change it up, just bang the ball up into the bumpers. They'll file around and obviously randomly pick another mode. This machine does have multi-ball. The way it works is a little bit random. So you have like a mystery award, which most pinball machines have, which is at the scoop. So you'll get the question mark will light up at the top. Um, shooting it in there, that will start the mystery award. Most of the time, the first mystery award will just instantly start multi-ball, which um, Alvin Gottlieb called, what did they call it? <laughs> I've forgotten, mega mode, sorry. They called it mega mode, um, which is a two-ball multi-ball. The same down here, you have like the sort of catapult shot, I think it's called shooting it in there um, is basically just another scoop. So that will both light for the mystery and it'll also both light for mega mode. The Joker also gives you mega mode as well. So whenever that's lit and you collect it, it will instantly just plunge another ball out for you. The main feature of this machine is doom mode, which is, <laughs> I honestly think, the all time greatest mode in pinball machine ever. No, no, no pinball machine in the future will ever be doom mode. So once the skull's lit, Basically, the secret trap door opens, um, which is this light here. You bang the ball around the orbit and it will disappear into the pipe organ that you can see at the top, and that starts doom mode. The display kind of freaks out. It goes a little bit strange and it's a little bit buggy, but you basically get two dancing skeletons on the DMD. Multi balls start and everything on the playfield is doubled. So um, whatever mode you start, it's all doubled, including extra balls. So if you're in doom mode, 
and you collect the crystal ball that lights extra ball shooting the ramp and it gives you two extra balls which is quite nice once you drain one of your balls in doom mode it still continues on so all the gi changes color it all goes bright blue it's, it's beautiful but for the rest of that ball you still have a dancing one dancing skeleton on the dmg you don't get to see your score you don't get to see any information on what the hell's going on you just have a dancing skeleton um so for the rest of that time until that ball's over everything is still doubled a very interesting feature of this machine is behind one of these targets i don't know if you're going to see it on the camera behind one of these targets it's the e in castle is a little gap so if you can fire the ball through there it actually comes back into the shooter lane and gives you some sort of crazy award if the ramp's lit for anything which it usually is that will plunge around and then basically instantly give you an item for free which is very nice and off the top of my head that is about all i can remember so what i'm going to do is just fire up a few games and just show you how wonderful mystery castle is Welcome to the Doom mode there, didn't score any jackpots at all, which kind of sucks. But we did just win two extra balls. <laughs> so, this is a potion, this is just a moving and um, timed shot. So, it starts off in the left orbit, then it moves over to the right hand ramp. So this is the Jester, just like all the shots normally for 5 million, but because we're in the Doom mode, it's a 10 million because it's doubled. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The dragon idol just wants you to shoot the bridge shot, which is which is the uh, centre ramp. Yeah. Doesn't really give you a whole lot of points. So it's quite a risky shot, so um, I wouldn't really bother with that normally. Lights up all ramps for five million. So sometimes you're getting quite a nice rhythm and just keep hitting one over and over again. But apparently not this time. one of those ones that just gives you points. I think you get 10 million for that, so nothing too exciting for the goblet. Scepter, I believe, is just another one that gives you points. So a stack of gold. That just gives you points, so nothing too exciting going on there. lights every switch for a quarter of a million so the best plan for that is to just smash it up into the bumpers and let it fire around in there for a bit Targets on the right hand side that lights each one of them up for two million, I believe, a hit. Um, after you hit, I think, four down, it will reset the drops. So uh, that's quite a nice mode where you don't lose the ball. There's the skill shot.
amazingly, I'm very close to finding all of the items and I'm only on the same board. So the painting is just a moving jackpot shot that goes just randomly around the playfield. I tend to not bother with the painting mode because it just moves so quickly you can't really time shots. It just moves far too fast, but it's got very nice music. So we are now on the crown. Crown! So this is sort of like a mini wizard mode. Um, just basically lights, lights absolutely everything on the playfield. Gives you multi ball. Amazing music in this wizard mode, let's just let it play for a bit. And that's Mystery Castle, we found all the items, got to the wizard mode, and it all starts again.
Got a high score as well, not bad. And there we have it, that is the very spooky mystery castle. Hope you enjoyed that, that was actually one of the best games I think I've ever had on that. So that was a good time to be filming. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching.